Hey everybody, it's Dr. Galvin. Uh, I'm gonna do a real quick update because boy, a million people have sent me this this thing the president tweeted about. You know, there's actually about 9,000 COVID-19 deaths because of the CDC data that came out that showed only 6% had COVID. No, that's not what it means at all. Um, I encourage you to look at the data and, and I'm gonna try to explain to you what it, it means. What the CDC did was they released the death certificate data of about 160 plus thousand people that have COVID-19 as part of their diagnosis or the cause of death. Now, as a physician, um, if I have to fill out a death certificate, the, there's a standard death certificate that's used all over the country. And basically what I do is I fill out, you know, the cause of death, whatever I think it, it is. Now, a lot of times I'm, I'm not 100% sure because I may not have an autopsy, but, you know, we can get an idea of what it is and say, let's, it's somebody that has COVID. Well, you, you list COVID-19 as one of the things, but then you also have to list anything that might've contributed. So if they had diabetes or obesity or other things, you might list that. Or if the reason that they they died is that COVID caused them to go into ARDS or you know a cytokine storm or develop heart failure um, or respiratory failure, all those things go on there. So what the CDC said was that of all that 166,000 deaths, only 6% had COVID as the only diagnosis, meaning 94% had another diagnosis in association with it. Meaning, what we've known kind of all along is that many of the people that are dying of COVID have underlying medical problems. But also, you know, if you develop COVID and you develop a, a subsequent pneumonia and ARDS, all those things would be listed as well. So it's either a sequelae of COVID or it's an exacerbating medical problem that made you more vulnerable. But it doesn't change the fact those people still died of COVID. Had they not had COVID, they would not have died. COVID triggered all these other things. And you can fact check this by looking at the excess mortality data. And, and there's data that's published that shows how many deaths are actually occurred this year based on these death certificates versus prior years. And honestly, the numbers of excess death exceeds the actual number of COVID deaths. So we're probably not overcounting it, we're probably significantly undercounting it because there's not really another explanation for why we should have all these excess deaths uh, over, over the fact that we're having this COVID outbreak. Um, I, I'm just taking a brief time off for the clinic to kind of address this because I've been sent this information by so many people. Listen, you're, what you wanna do, what you wanna believe, whether how we're handling it is you agree with it or not, but you know, don't distort the data, don't, try to to make this into something it's not the cdc did not come out and say that only six percent of those deaths were from covid what they said was only six percent had covid as the only diagnosis and honestly i, I would be hard pressed to to diagnose with somebody who you know, give that as the only cause of death because you don't really die of the virus you die of the pneumonia or the respiratory failure or the the sepsis or whatever else that's triggered by that viral infection that then gets out of control. Um, I'm gonna kind of cut there because like I said, I'm just taking a quick time out to answer this question. Um, we'll be back with more hormone lectures this week and more COVID lectures. Everybody have a great day, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, look out for yourselves, look out for your families, look out for everybody else. Talk to you soon, bye.